Hey, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So I had already recorded this one, but when I came to editing it this morning, the sound was really quiet and bitty sounding. Um, so it's like kind of, it's, it's kind of that effect that you get if you try to record sound when there's like a lot of wind or like a fan going or something that sort of like breaks up the sound. I couldn't hear anything like that in the background so I don't actually know what caused it. Um, I'm trying this recording with it normal, um, like with my normal setup and if that doesn't work then <laughs> Um, I will try recording it again with my um, wireless headphones because they have a mic in them and I can just get that set up and, and we'll see how it goes. Um, ideally, I'd rather not have to have that set up um, just because that's, that's a bit of a hassle to have to remember each time and <laughs> I'm very lazy. Um, so hopefully the mic will work this time, fingers crossed, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, <laughs> eh, this is a problem when you have to like go back in time mentally to what you were talking about when you actually filmed the vlog. Um, so I do know what I was talking about, the fact that I have finished the editing process of No Doors Loud, um, or at least I finished the full editing process of No Doors Loud. Um, obviously if I come across any minor mistakes whilst I'm doing various things, um, then I'll, I'll um, correct those errors. Uh, likewise, uh, if anybody else lets me know there are any mistakes, then I, I tend to sort of go back through and, and correct those. Um, but it, it, at this stage, it should mostly just be little bits and pieces here and there that might be an issue. Um, so like typos, it, it's typos. The story itself isn't going to be edited in any kind of major way that I'm happy with. It's just, it's a long as story. So the chances are there are going to be a few typos here and there that I have just missed because it is so long. Um, and even doing it like eight chapters a day, that's, oh, that's still technically six days plus two chapters. So like my last run through, I was doing, I did eight chapters on every single day apart from two where I did nine chapters. Um, in order to get it all done for the last run through. But I managed to get it all done during my time off. Um, obviously, when I filmed this originally, that was like two days later and I was like, oh yeah, I'm having a nice chill couple of days before having to go back to work. Um, it's kind of a bit annoying that I'm having to re-record this now. <laughs> so annoying. Um, so one of the things that I have done since <laughs> um, is I have started writing the the all important the all important blurb. Um, blurb writing is not fun. Uh, it uh, uh, the thing with blurb writing is that you have to know what you're going for with the blurb itself. You want something that is not necessarily going to give away the entire plot, but it's going to give away enough that people are going to be like intrigued. Uh, it's basically, and this is going to be my uh, creative writing degree coming into play here, but your, your blurb has to be your hook in a lot of ways. So it's one of those things where, of course, you know, your your first chapter and whatever else also has to be a bit of a hook. Um, but 
but that, that's kind of the easy kind of hook to kind of write and you know that you can be like a little bit slower with sort of like all your introductions and stuff um especially when it comes to like book writing not so much when it comes to like screenwriting that and that's when you have to sort of like be a little bit more um with it for like what you're you're planning to do but in terms of uh <laughs> in terms of um in, in terms of book writing your hook can be a little bit more like long or uh, slow in, in coming as long as it's sort of fairly early on um, and that's why your blurb is so important because again it's also a, a hook it's a shorthand of your hook <laughs> and that's, that's not the easiest thing to write um, especially for something that is more slice of life like the books in the never Aging collection are in a lot of ways um they very much are um slice of life yes there is a definite like through line um that goes through them there are definitely like they, they head towards stuff um and there is definitely like themes that go through it and, you know they are very cohesive stories but they're cohesive stories with a lot of slice of life stuff and the slice of life stuff also happens to involve magic certainly um certainly much more so in no doors allowed than there was in uh, the colors i see and considering the main character in the colors i see could see auras and was constantly referencing that <laughs> that's saying a lot um so yeah i'm i'm not struggling with the blurb exactly it's just trying to get it to sound in intriguing enough for people to want to sort of learn more um so i know with uh because obviously as this is part of the never rating collection the never rating collection blurbs are done in first person because that's what i did with um hyena boys with jay's one um, and I'd made that decision based on um, the fact that he was doing writing an account of his life. Um, so it kind of felt natural because it was, um, I know there is a name for it, but it's sort of diary format. Um, I know it's not exactly diary format, but that, that sort of thing. Uh, so it made sense to me at the time that the blurb should be in first person and kind of paraphrasing um, his explanation for why he's doing what he's doing. Um, and that, I feel that works really well. I think it's a really interesting, um, really interesting blurb. Um, it's got a nice, interesting uh, tagline to it as well. So yeah, it, I based on that was like, okay, so the rest of the, you know, when I when I came to doing the one for the colors, I see it's like, well, that has to be in first person as well. That was a little bit more difficult. But again, um, it was a lot easier than uh, No Doors Allowed is proving to be. But then I don't, I don't even think I could figure out what I was saying with it um, in third person either. But again, I'm, I'm very much trying to keep it in in first person so that it's cohesive for the series. Um, I think those, um, I think that I, because I uh, for the. Don't make a sun ones, which are books that are in first person, but the blurbs are in third person. I think when it comes to the, the books that I'm planning to release next year for the connected series, will also be in third person, um, just because they are kind of easier to write um, in third person, especially for shorter narratives. I think what I'm struggling with more, like as I said, I, I, I found. Jay's one was alright, I found Zell's one was a little bit harder, but I pretty much know, knew where I needed to focus. And I even think Sly's one um, for Wee Giants, when I, when I come to Wee Giants, I think I know where the focus is there. So again, I'm not worried about that one, but no duels allowed. It, there's just so much that happens in a much shorter pace, space of time than what happens in the colours I see. Um, and I kind of, it, it's, it's, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one because um, the the last third of the book, if it's the last third or last quarter of the book, um, I'm not really sure 
might be the last quarter of the book. Um, certain things happen which take the story in a different direction to where it initially was going. Um, I've set it up a little bit better now. Um, I foreshadowed it a little bit better now, I think. Um, but at the same time, um, yeah, but again, it's like Jay's blurb doesn't necessarily point you in the direction of where that book ends. Um, Zell's blurb doesn't necessarily point you in the direction where that book ends. And that they're both done from a particular, you know, mind frame, point in time, mindset, um, which is what I'm trying to do with No Doors Allowed. But the mindset that I've kind of gone is just prior to the start of the uh, of the first chapter which um makes sense and it was kind of where I think he would need to be um it was a little bit different with uh Jay's one because Jay was writing his story post all of these events happening so the blurb had to reflect that he was kind of looking back on all of this thing. As I said, it's basically a modified version of what he actually says in the first chapter about what he's doing and why he's doing it. Um, Benzel's was, I, I think I sort of picked an age for him to be um, in terms of the mentality for his age. And then I sort of like threw in a couple of details from later on in the story. Um, it's actually more like just list this one line that there says like this one line um which is out of place for where he is in the point of the story that the rest of the blurb is written but makes sense because it is it is sort of like a a joke that um that he does make sort of later on and it is something that follows through into no doors allowed as well so kind of needs to be there um but with no doors allowed there are like uh it's tricky because it's set later in the timeline so there's a part of me that kind of wants to go should i reference uh, a certain event and how long it's been since this certain event um which means the blurb would very much spoil the ending of the first two books um or do I find a way of making it work um, without stating certain things and what, what am I trying to reference here? Um, where am I focusing? Am I focusing on just uh, the the key relationship of um, our in and out for what comes across or Am I referencing uh, the other two friends as well? Um, it's a tricky one because because Zell doesn't reference the the entire group and his still works. So I could just keep it focused on their relationship um, because it is technically speaking a sequel to the colours I see um, in terms of it, it, it picks up shortly after that story uh, finishes and it's following what happens to them next um, and in the same way that you could probably see uh, We Giants as being the sequel to Hyena Boy because yeah th it, it makes sense it, it makes sense um, to kind of view it that way but again it's also a standalone so I don't really want to be referencing too much back to the previous books in the story um, or previous books in the collection or previous parts of the timeline. Um, I really need to work out how I say things. <laughs> um, because it is supposed to be a standalone. It should stand on its own merits. It doesn't need to be referring, ref referencing these other things because A, they come out through the story anyway, like, so they come out through the story anyway, um, and B, you know, it should be a self-contained standalone story that connects to uh, these other four books. So, yeah, and, and it's, it's weird. This one, as I said, We Giants, I know where the focus is. I know uh, where size headspace is. Um, 
I know roughly how I want it to sound. I don't necessarily have it planned out word for word at this point. Um, but I have a really good idea as to how that would look in order to be a very good hook to a story. <laughs> um, but I don't quite know at this point, and, and this is like a week on, and I'm still like, I have a rough draft of it. I just need to, to strengthen it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where I am at the moment with, with the blurb writing um, for it. Um, yeah, um, but something else that I have done, <laughs> which is a little less stressful, is KDP has now made it so that I can create my own series. Uh, prior to this, this is the process I had to go through for creating a series page for the Dollmaker Sons books, um, is that I had to uh, basically contact them um, with the, uh, the the numbers for the like the the I I I A um, A I N S the the book numbers. I had to contact them with the book numbers um, and give them the the series title and and etc etc etc. And like you had to make sure like certain things were done and formatted in, in a particular way and it was like really annoying because their initial for, for the Dollmaker Sons books they initially got back to me with oh you're missing x and y and I'm like no I'm not and I don't necessarily need those because I've read the thing and yeah um so that was a that was a little bit annoying <laughs> um but they've now made it so that through the same pages that I use for um, creating the books themselves, I can create the series myself. Um, so I was planning to, like my initial plan was once, um, once No Doors Allowed was live, would have been to then contact them and go, okay, these three books are in a series, they are in a can be read in any order series, which means they, they get uh, listed by their publication date. Um, because they're more of an anthology series than they are a uh, chronological series. <laughs> Those are the words I need. Um, which would have been a bit of a hassle and it's kind of the reason why I was waiting to sort of to sort of do it um, but now I've been able to do it myself so I've created a series page for the Nerd Rating Collection um, I've also created the draft for um, No Doors Allowed which is obviously still waiting on cover, it's still waiting on the blurb um, but I've already added that, so like as soon as that goes live, it will get added to the to the Never Rating Collection page, which I'm I'm quite excited about. I have to admit, um, that makes my life so much easier. That it's just going to be like, yeah, I can I can do this. It's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> it'll make sense. It'll be it'll work out just just lovely. It will. Um, <laughs> um but yeah, so. That's that's the the other sort of the big thing that I that I've done is that I started the process of um, getting No Doors Loud out there. I just need the cover. I need to sort the blurb, and hopefully, fingers crossed, before the end of the year, three books this year would be quite an accomplishment. Um, so fingers crossed that I can I can make that. Um, I mean, it would be nice to sort of get it in time for like a Christmas release, but it's probably going to be closer to New Year um, because obviously uh, my cover guy has got a lot of stuff going on, so um, basically have to sort of work around his schedule and what he's doing, which you know, it's it's, it's how it is. Um, so yeah, that's that's everything. That's everything. All right. Okay, uh, so I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're kind of curious as to how my blurb is going to look once it is actually finally finished. Um, 
as we're also looking forward to see whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time. I have no idea at this point in time what I'm going to talk about next time. Great. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, the sound has recorded. Like, crossly, I guess. That would be, really be nice. <laughs> Alright, okay. I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!